what's up everybody hey this is part two of my um thyroidectomy surgery this post-op so this 18 days out and so this is what the scar looks like if y'all can see it up under my neck it's still swole just a little bit but i feel a hundred percent better there's no more sweating no more of my mood flipping i even dropped like an automatic 10 pounds and I don't even eat as much, you know, like I used to. But this is the scar. And um, it's still a little tight. And it feels funny when I swallow and everything. But, you know, everything is healing up. I'm cleared to go back to work. Mine's took a little bit longer because I had, like, some issues. I was um, sneezing and coughing. And then I choked on some water. So I busted some vessels in my neck and my neck swole up like the hulk and i had to go back to the doctor so he gave me another week i could take another week but i'm gonna go ahead on and go back because i have to you know get out here and survive but i'm going to tell y'all exactly what you need you know um after the surgery these are going to be your best friend i promise you so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about hold on Let me see if I can get this right here. Okay. Your best your best friends after a thyroidectomy is going to be some Aleve, ibuprofen, or whatever. You know, this is what I take, Aleve. Um, this is like for the inflammation and, and the pain also. Because I was like, shoot, what is this going to do? You know, hey, this pain something serious, but it's for the inflammation. And then, you know, you're going to have your, your regular narcotic, you know, this, hey, this is the real deal right here, I'm trying to tell you. So, you're going to need this also, you know, when the pain gets real heavy. Then, you're going to need, I, I had an ice, a ice bag that they gave me, but, um, God, this got water in it now because it's been set for a minute. But, you're really going to need this ice. This is going to be your best friend. So, you know, I will wrap it up. Cause I, I tore my, my bags up because I used them so much they wore out and you can just put a towel on this and wrap it up and then you know you just um stick it up under your under your neck I got air in it. but you stick it up under your your neck where the incision because it's going to be swollen and I'm telling you it's going to take the inflammation down and oh god it feel good I promise you that also you're going to need this milk of magnesia i promise you this. hey you don't want all that strain you want it to free flow and the reason why you you need this is because you know the narcotic that they give you it um slows down everything in your system and so that means hey you can't go to the bathroom then also you're going to need this also you know stool softener or whatever i promise you you're going to need this you know people don't say it but hey i'm keep it real 100 with you this is what you're going to need i know the words look backwards and everything but this is docolex um laxative the soft kind and also you're going to need press and seal the, the plastic wrap press and seal and the reason why you're going to need this is because when you go to take a shower you don't want to get your incision wet so I'm gonna set this right here hopefully it'll work and I'll show you how to do it Let me put something in my stand broke on my phone hold up what can I use I can't do it with one hand hold on I already tore a piece off and you want to take this plastic you want to take this plastic right here and you're going to get the sticky part and you're going to put it up around your neck and put it down like this and make sure this is sealed so when you take a shower you know still try not to get water in it you know to where it drip down so your incision won't get infected but you put it on like this because you're going to have a tape right there. And then 
um, when you take it off, you would just peel it off and then you hold the tape wherever your incision is at and it'll come off like this. And that way your incision won't get wet. And mine stayed on the whole two weeks. So I hope this helps someone um, after their surgery because, you know, they don't tell you these things. People try to be cute about it. I'm just keep it straight 100 on the one with you. So those are the things that you're going to need, and I hope this helps somebody. Oh, yeah, when I did the first video, boy, I was zooted. I kept saying the date or something. It's 2018. No, it's 2015. I'm telling you that purple fall, that's something serious. So anyhow, um, y'all have a good day out there. Be blessed on the one. I'll holler at you again.